Hello, so today I'm going to be making an egg custard, one of my favourite sweet treats growing up. My mum used to make an absolutely amazing egg custard and I do miss them. Um, so the recipe that I've got today has been given to me from my mum's sister, my auntie Pat. Um, now my auntie Pat is the author of Grandma's Antique Recipes, um, The Legacy of a Lancashire Lass. Um, the book is full of recipes, remedies and tips from a bygone um, age. So um, yeah, I'll post a picture of that up um, in the video as well. So I'm looking forward to making this. It's the first time that I've ever made an egg custard. So fingers crossed it turns out okay. I'm going to prep the pastry first um, and put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Uh, according to Auntie Pat, this um, pastry recipe is easy to manipulate, roll out and, and get into the tray, um, doing it this way. So you need to prep your pastry a couple of hours before you're going to do the custard. So here's what you're going to need for your pastry. 225 grams of butter, 150 grams of caster sugar, uh, one egg and 300 grams of plain flour um, you're going to need a bowl to put it in and a rolling pin for later on so into the bowl you need to add the sugar the butter and the egg and blend it until it's nice and smooth so the pastry oh sorry not the pastry the um, butter sugar and egg are all blended now so i'm just going to gradually add the flour I've mixed in the flour, I'm just going to start using my hands now to form a dough. So, it got a bit sticky, but we've gradually got the dough here already. So I'm just going to stick that in some cling film and then put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. And then come back to it. And it goes. So what were your favourite uh, puddings growing up? My mum used to make lots of really delicious puddings, um, especially like I said earlier on, the custard. Absolutely love mum's custard. Um, rhubarb crumble and apple crumble. I used to love rhubarb crumble. She used to make it so perfect. Um, cakes like uh, Victoria sponge cake and the jam tarts she used to make. And then uh, she only had to make mince pies like once a year, uh, obviously. But um, the, the pastry my mum used to use was absolutely delicious. Um, I've never been able to figure that one out. Um, and when we used to go to my nan's, she used to always make uh, like a flat cake. Um, it's quite uh, popular back in the day. It's a, I think it's a Bolton recipe. Flat cake, it's a bit like Charlie cakes if you like. Uh, with currants in, used to love them as well, with lots of butter on. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, tell us what your favourite uh, puddings were. So, I've greased this dish, but I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit too small. But I have got other dishes that I can put a little bit extra in after. Um, I took the pastry out of the fridge, um, it was a little bit hard, so I've had to knead it a little bit. Um, just to warm it up a little bit and um, just sprinkled some flour on the work surface and over the rolling bin and I've just rolled it out so I'm just now going to put it inside the tray so as you can see quite a lot of overlap of pastry so I'm just going to trim that off so there we go and with a fork I've just gone around the edges so for the custard filling this is what you're going to need four eggs 500 ml of milk, make sure it's nice and cold as well. 100 grams of caster sugar, um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and your nutmeg. Nutmeg that gives your custard its distinctive taste. Mm hmm. Looking forward to this. So, in a bowl, I've added the uh, vanilla extract, um, the caster sugar, and the eggs. Um, I'm just going to mix them up now. So I have preheated the oven as well on gas mark 6 which is 200 celsius. So now I've mixed the, the eggs um, and the sugar and the vanilla. I'm just going to gradually add a bit at a time um, the milk. That's all the milk added. Now I'm going to pour it into top of the pastry should I say. Now I'm hoping I've not poured too much in and I'm going to gently put it in the oven in the centre of the oven and leave it to cook for about 45 minutes. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned whether uh, I've sprinkled some nutmeg on it, but you can see I've sprinkled the nutmeg on. All I'm honestly going to do without spilling anything. Woohoo! Hey, just caught it in time, nearly burnt it. Got preoccupied by something else. But it looks okay, I'm just going to let it cool down. And then we'll uh, refrigerate it overnight and see what it's like tomorrow. Well, it's come out quite nice, that. I've had a taste, and it's absolutely delicious as well. Thankfully, I saved it in time. It is Valentine's Day today, and this is Paul's favourite uh, pudding. It goes like a custard, just like I do. So, I've cut it into the shape of a heart. A big soft one. 